This is a really nice little exercise to get players to learn how to move back when they get deep balls. So when players are moving onto the orange court and the court is getting longer, there are going to be more higher and deeper balls which the players are going to have to respond to. And the problem becomes even more of a challenge on the green court when the green ball is bouncing even more. So it's really important on the orange court that the players learn how to move backwards quickly and efficiently. So what we have here is um, the feeder at the far end, one of the players, who's feeding the high deep ball. And the little guy down at this end, you'll see a line on the court behind him. And he has to try to get back behind the line with a drop and a crossover and a set. And he has to get back before the line, before the bounce of the ball. So he has to beat the bounce. So there's the bounce. And we have to check to see if he's got at least one foot behind that yellow line. And so we can turn this into a competitive activity where a point is given to the feeder if the ball is bouncing before the player gets behind the line. Or the point goes to the player at this end if the player is able to beat the bounce and get at least one foot behind that yellow line. So it's quite a nice competitive activity which really brings to life such an important aspect of tennis as the kids are growing up. Um, so. Uh, maybe something to practice with your players. Uh, there's obviously the footwork element, the skill element to it. So we've got the, the drop, uh, well, the split step, the drop, the crossover, and then the set. So that's important to learn. But they've also got to do it quickly uh, when recognizing the high deep ball. So um, quite a fun competitive way perhaps to introduce um, some backward movement um, when playing uh, from deep at the baseline. So now we move to the next stage, the next progression, which is that the player has to beat the bounce on the way back. In other words, they have to get behind that second set of lines with at least one foot before the ball is bouncing on their side. But then when they have played that defensive ball, they then have to make sure that they get back onto the baseline to beat the bounce before the ball is bouncing again on the other side of the net. So there's a beat the bounce times two here. Once on the way back, uh, we have to make sure that the feeds are right for the game situation we're playing, but that they are beating the bounce on the way back. And then as part of the recovery, that they are then beating the bounce of their own return on the way back. So um, we're really trying to make sure that we keep the intensity on the practice here. The kids are getting a little bit tired and this is, uh, it's been quite a lot of information for them. So some of the crossovers have gone missing a little bit and the feeding has become a little bit sloppy. There we go. And then there's the beat the bounce on the way back. And now the point is live. So this is the final stage. The first feed in has to be high and deep to push the opponent back. Didn't quite achieve it on that occasion, but here we go. They've gone back deep again, and they have to try to beat the bounce whenever they get forced back. They have to beat the bounce with the recovery, and then the point is live at that stage.